Sponsored by Venom Lures. Go to VenomLures.com for all your professional fishing needs. Over 30 years in experience in soft plastics, terminal tackle, to rod and reels, and much more. Check them out today at VenomLures.com. Get bit. What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it very much. The Outdoors Guy here. Uh, today, I've got three tips on calling during the rut. Uh, if you haven't checked out my Instagram or Twitter, go ahead and do so. I'm going to put a link in the description below. All right, tip number one. Some deer do not want to fight. Believe it or not, not every buck that you're going to be grunting at or calling at is going to want to fight. Not every deer wants a confrontation. It does not matter if he's got big horns or not. That does not mean that he is the dominant buck. So be wary of grunt calls and uh, rattling and other things uh, because not every buck that is going to come in is going to want to fight. So think about that before you call. Tip number two is call every 30 minutes to an hour. You do not have to call a lot to get deer to come in. Me, myself, I call about every 30 minutes to an hour and usually that consists of a few doe bleats with a few grunt calls and then that's it. And other than that, I always just wait it out. It's hard to wait that 30 minutes or an hour, but trust me, it pays off in the end. And tip number three is use doe estrus uh, scent. You want to use like Tink 69 or Buck Bomb. Uh, there's a hundred different things that you could use, but uh, use that because it makes the scenario uh, for that buck to seem more believable. Use the scent plus the calls and you never know, you could kill that next giant or that next big dream buck, and hopefully you do. Uh, check out my Instagram and Twitter. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Till next time, see ya.